The man who was paralyzed, but recovered magically overnight. Not only did he become alive and well, the body function is also fully upgraded. Even the top special forces are easy to handle. Such a fantastic change. It's because of an inconspicuous chip. The story takes place in the distant future. Artificial intelligence can be seen everywhere. Driverless cars for travel. Intelligent but for service after work. But while high technology covers the world, it also makes countless people lose their jobs. Logan is one of them. He used to be a highly skewed engineer. Now he's a worthless piece of crap. The good thing is that his wife earns a lot of money. The life of the two of them is quite free and easy. But then the unexpected happens. The director could not let them be comfortable. Logan and his wife were on their way home. Smart car suddenly lost control. He hurriedly slammed on the brakes. I didn't expect the car to go faster and faster. Two people secretly thankful not to die. The next second, but that desperate, a group of vicious masked thugs dragged the couple out of the car. Strangely enough, the other party neither wanted money nor sex. It seems to be a premeditated plan. The wife was shot dead on the spot by the bandits. Logan was also wounded. They used a special instrument. They stabbed him hard in the spine. Logan's whole body was immediately paralyzed. He tried to crawl to his wife's side but couldn't move with all his might. By the time the police arrived late, the thugs had already escaped. After the hospital's best efforts to save him, Logan barely survived, but he would spend the rest of his life in a cold wheelchair. Even the simplest of self-care required the help of his elderly mother. In the days of despair, the only thing that kept him alive, he wanted to avenge his wife's death. He couldn't wait to get to the police station, but the detective told him there was nothing he could do. Months of investigation, not a single clue about the thug. Logan's remaining hope is dashed. He kept injecting himself with tranquilizers. He tried to kill himself, but the dosage set off an alarm. Once again, the hospital brought him back to life. While Logan's life was in danger, a mysterious man appeared, turned his life around. The man is the owner of a technology giant. He has developed a smart chip that could be implanted into Logan's spine, and he's back on his feet. With nothing to lose, Logan didn't hesitate to opt for the surgery. When he woke up from his sleep, he suddenly found that he could lift his arm. So he got up, stumbling forward a few steps, until the crutches could be thrown away completely. Because the surgery was illegal, the boss made him sign a confidentiality agreement. If there was any misconduct, he would remotely shut down the smart chip. Logan agreed to do so, but when he got home, he immediately started investigating the case. But when confronted with the footage of the crime, he couldn't get any results even though he thought about it. When he was frustrated, an unfamiliar voice suddenly appeared in his head. He thought he was hallucinating, but it was the chip talking to him. Logan was reviewing the video. The chip's powerful information processing ability had found important clues on the arm of one of the thugs, seemed to have a special tattoo of some kind. With Logan's authorization, the chip took over the body. A mark was quickly drawn on paper. After a simple scan, then find out all the information about the thugs to prevent the surgery from being exposed. Logan did not dare to report to the police and could only investigate alone. Early the next morning, he pried open the door of the thug's room and searched around the room, trying to find information about his accomplices, but other than the name of a bar, there were no more clues, and to make matters worse, the thug who had been out suddenly returned. Logan rushed to hide in the window. Still, he was inevitably exposed. Never been in a fight before. He was caught off guard. He had to ask the smart chip for help. Logan's combat power instantly increased. Not only could he anticipate his opponent's movements, but also the right time to launch a counterattack. Even if the thug is a retired special forces soldier, there was nothing he could do about it. The thug had no choice but to grab a kitchen knife. But to his surprise, we have not under the control of the chip, the mob was stabbed to death in a miserable way. After the killing, Logan was scared to death. He rushed into the kitchen and started vomiting like crazy. The chip then lists everything he touched. He was instructed to clean up his fingerprints quickly, including the vomit in the pool. Logan makes a big mess. A furious boss finds him. He's warned to abide by the confidentiality agreement, or he'd be back in his wheelchair. And the trouble didn't stop there. The police pulled up surveillance from the time of the murder, and Logan was spied there. So they came to visit him that night. With the help of a smart chip, Logan was able to get away with it. It seemed like it was only a matter of time before he was exposed. He had to find the culprit. He found the bar mentioned in the tip. He drove his wheelchair to the center of the crowd. In front of the crowd, he says the name of the murder thug. And as he expected, sure enough, a man came up to him. He pushed him into the toilet with no intention. Logan is thrown on the floor. The man arrogantly pulled out a dagger. Without saying a word, he stabbed him in the thigh. Logan is confirmed to be a cripple and no threat. The man freely admits to being one of the accomplices. Logan gets the answer he wants. Immediately let the chip take over his body. A few punks are like toys. One by one, they were beaten to the ground. The man was not willing to give up, but he could not even touch a hair. After a few rounds, they can no longer stand up. Logan authorized the chip to torture. The man was tortured and screamed in pain. Before he died, he finally gave the name of the bandit leader. He was about to find his enemy. Logan's body appears strange. It turns out that the boss senses that something is wrong and is shutting down the chip remotely. 
Logan followed the chip's instructions. Logan wrote down a code on his arm. He must find the hacker to build a firewall before the boss gets his hands on him. But as the chips are gradually turned off, every step forward is extremely difficult. But after persevering, finally at the last moment to climb to the door, the hacker immediately brought the computer to enter the code without saying a word. But an even bigger crisis was coming. On the other side of the tavern, Benedict, the bandit leader, came to the body. He reached out with a fingertip probe through the man's electronic eyeballs. He easily gets the hacker's address. However, before setting out, he thinks the tavern owner didn't save the man, must pay for the death of his brother. The boss has a gun in his hand and is not afraid. He told Benedict to get out of the tavern. But to his surprise, Benedict just sneezed lightly, and then he ejected countless nano blades. The blades entered his body along his nostrils. In just a few seconds, his head was crushed. He really kills people invisibly. At this point the firewall is established, but it will take some time to reboot. Logan is wriggling like a worm, trying to hide and stall for time. But Benedict soon broke him. He was about to be killed. The smart chip is finally activated. Logan was fast and pulled away. He got up and landed across the hallway. He didn't expect the killer to be a transformer. It was hard to get rid of him when he was in pursuit. Logan had no choice. He was forced to fight the enemy on the roof of the building. The result was predictable. After the reboot, Logan was even tougher. The killer had no way to fight him. He returned home after everything was settled. He didn't sleep for two days and just wanted to rest. But the police came to his door again. She guessed Logan was seeking personal revenge. But without any evidence, she could only advise Logan to stop. When the police leave, Logan ordered the chip not to add any more kills. Otherwise, it will no longer be authorized to take over the body. But the next moment he fell down with weakness. It turns out that the creation of the firewall also gave the chip the autonomy. Even without Logan's authorization, it could still take over his body at will. He had no choice but to compromise. He left home in the night and went straight to Benedict. But the police followed him all the way. Despite her intention to cover her tracks, she was discovered shortly afterwards. To prevent her from ruining the plan, the chip immediately hacked a smart car. The car started reversing into reverse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Logan sneaks into Benedict's apartment and threatened him with a gun. Seeing that the gun was pointed at him, Benedict had no choice but to tell the truth. The night of the car accident, Logan was the real target. His wife was just a casualty, and the mastermind behind all this is the owner of the technology company. He orchestrated the accident just to give Logan human experiments. Logan instantly shot in anger, but Benedict is also a high-level reformer. Both of them can predict each other's movements. A physical fight that was evenly matched. It lasted for hundreds of rounds. Benedict tries to spray nano blades. Logan stopped him with a headbutt, but Benedict is a retired Special Forces soldier. The physical strength advantage gradually became obvious. Logan was pinned down as he showed his weaknesses. Eventually Benedict's building gun was aimed at him, but instead of shooting, he started taunting according to the script. In that short amount of time, Chip analyzes Benedict's weaknesses and launched a lightning-fast counterattack. Benedict suddenly fell to the ground with serious injuries. Logan did not show mercy. He went straight up and killed his wife's murderer. The next target is the boss who is hiding under the floor. Logan kills everyone in his path. When he arrived at the office, the boss has been scared to death. But when he was about to strike, the police suddenly appeared behind him with guns. Chip manipulated Logan to pretend to surrender, when the other party is killers to check. Then he got up and knocked the police down. Logan didn't want to kill but his body was getting out of control. When the cop is about to suffocate, he used his last sanity to let the police electrocute himself to short-circuit the chip. Finally temporarily lifted the crisis. At this point the plot ushered in a shocking reversal. It turns out that the boss is also just a wage earner. The smart chip is the mastermind of everything. The chip is not satisfied with being a part, but he wants to use Logan's body to become a real human to dominate the world. But as soon as the worst left his mouth, Smart Chip recovered from the electric shock. He manipulated his body to pick up the pistol. Logan tried to resist but to no avail. When the last vestiges of sanity were eroded, the policeman was also shot dead. And what follows? A crisis that will sweep the world.